Hi guys. Well, cannot make up its mind whether it is a beautiful day or a gray dreary day here in the end times at Bugs in a Jar Farm here on this presently gloomy Saturday morning. That would be September 18th, 2021. Uh, wrapping up the summer of 2021 and I got folks coming in for the weekend and I got to get busy being an Airbnb host but before I do uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm just going to say it because nobody else is and so someone's got to say it and that might as well be me you know there's certain times I uh, even ham bone little tail uh, says dude just don't fucking go there let it lie there it is too soon to be spelling out the emperor has no clothes just ugly truth about an ugly situation and uh this was originally what i what i my my planned rant for today was going to be a, uh, a comment about the corona panic vaccine made by that little lefty Caitlin Johnstone a couple of days ago where just a very small comment that little lefty Caitlin and my guess I don't know if Caitlin Johnstone is an anti-vaxxer I don't think she is she's probably received it uh, but she made a comment about the vaccine uh just like guys uh someone has to say it but i cannot even repeat the comment that a probably a vaccine supporter made about the vaccine because if i read it out here uh, i would at least have this video if not my channel ripped down so you can find that over at Caitlin Johnstone somewhere. But so anyway, I, I managed to hit the edit button on that one. Uh, but for some reason, I am not managing to hit the edit button on this one. We will see after I, after I make this video and listen to it, uh, decide, am I going to make one of the biggest blunders in 12 years at Humpty Dumpty Tribe, making one of the most obscene videos. This might be the most thumbed down video I have ever made, uh, leaving the Corona panic, panicked sheeple videos in the dust. We will see if anybody has the balls to upvote what I'm getting ready to say. And of course, you know what I'm here to talk about, guys. Obviously, you know what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the single biggest story on planet Earth. I woke up this morning, I flip on my computer, right there, the number one biggest story on planet Earth, of course, hands down, being the Gabby Petito story. Uh, I guess the only uh, the only runner up to the Gabby Petito mystery saga is uh, that saga around that uh, clueless moron lawyer down there in where is that North Carolina, South Carolina, somewhere. Uh, don't even know that guy's name. We all know the difference. We all know why the Gabby Petito story, according to the mainstream media, is a bigger story than the lawyer, uh, than the lawyer story. And that is because the lawyer is a fat, ugly, clueless moron, southern white male, that uh, has exactly zero appeal to anybody. Who gives a fuck what happens to that ugly fat fuck? You know, I don't even know the fucker's name, where he's from, or uh, anyway, we all know why the Gabby Petito story is the number one story on the planet. 
and that is because Gabby Petito is a is a beautiful blonde haired blue eyed 22 year old young white girl that is the reason that is the only reason that this story is the uh, is the number one story on the planet uh, can, can, can we all agree on this this is this is just a statement of fact Gabby Petito is a beautiful uh, She's a beautiful young white girl with blonde hair and blue eyes. Okay. We all know that that scumbag boyfriend of hers, uh, what's his name, Laundry? Don't you love? I've had to go through life with the last name Laundry. Uh, you know, that, that bag of moldy clothes. Uh, we all know the fucker killed this girl. Okay, we all know that he is a is a fucking murderer. We know he killed the girl. We know OJ killed those people. You know what I'm saying? There's no mystery here. Uh, the dude, uh, the, the dude killed her. And uh, so what I am getting ready to say from this point forward, and, and uh, I, 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 okay, guys. Before I go into this, I, I, I want to make it clear. I just did a uh, capital punishment rant. Uh, it's fine with me if they track the son of a bitch down and kill the dude. I, it would be no loss to the planet to get rid of this fucker. Okay, I am in full support of doing what you want to with that dude. He is guilty as sin. He knows it. I know it. The cops know it. The FBI knows it. And Sancho Panza knows it. We're not here to, to talk about that scumbag's guilt. We all know he's guilty. And what I'm getting ready to say in absolutely no way, shape, or form means I am defending that, that scumbag motherfucker for one minute. There is nothing I am getting ready to say that uh, says that Gabby Petito deserved whatever horrendous fate she ended up getting uh, when, when the dude killed her. Uh, okay, but nobody is going to hear me say this any more than they hear me say Corona Panic compared to what is coming down the pike is a bad hair day. Okay, nobody hears me make that amplification and clarification that compared to what is coming down the pike, Corona Panic is a bad hair day, and nobody from this point forward is uh, is going to remember me saying that uh, I think that that scumbag uh, just killed the son of a bitch. I don't give a shit, uh, and I am in no way defending him. Okay, but with that worthless disclaimer, amplification, and clarification, guys, we have to. Uh, someone has to say it, and after watching that video of, uh, you know, I'm sure, don't uh, admit it, guys, don't deny it, you have watched at least parts of that police cam video uh, over there from Moab, Utah, where they pulled over uh, that couple and, uh, and, and questioned them, and uh, after watching that, there, there's, I have to say it. Gabby Petito is a psycho bitch. Okay? I said it. Gabby Petito, I don't care how beautiful she is. I don't care how, how much she did not deserve to die for being a psycho bitch. Gabby Petito is a fucking uh, little spoiled brat uh, entitled little Jewish American princess, even if she's not Jewish, you know what I mean, this little New York uh, little white girl, uh, this little entitled, spoiled brat, mouthy little uh, psycho bitch. 
okay? There, I've said it. Uh, <laughs> you know, you, you can be a beautiful uh, little white girl and, and be a psycho bitch. Uh, I, I, I am in no way supporting what, what that scumbag did to her, but, but, but you know, uh, I, was, I was married to a, a, uh, a Gabby Petito for seven years. Uh, I don't know how many of you have heard my infamous ham sandwich story about when uh, my own Gabby Petito and I uh, parted company. Uh, for seven years, uh, you know, just, just watching that interview with that with that girl in the back of that cop car thinking about my, you know, my seven-year marriage, thinking, my God, there is my dear, sweet ex-wife. There she is. She was 22 when we got married. All right, mine was brunette. This one was blonde. But uh, other than that, you know, it could have been my ex-wife sitting in that car. Uh, and, and, and how long have these two been cooped up in that van together? I actually have to give the cops, especially the dude with the beard, some high marks. Uh, how long uh, had that dude uh, been, been cooped up uh, with that crazy, mouthy little psycho bitch? Five months. Was it five months? That, that he was cooped up traveling around uh, in, 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 in the van with that girl? Jesus. You know, I was borderline fucking uh, homicidal uh, with that little psycho bitch I was married to for seven years after five minutes in the fucking car with her. You know, I, I remember uh, I, I remember one time where we had traveled to Mula Hay, uh, Mula Hay, Baja, uh, California together to uh, for a week of uh, fun and re relaxation in uh, in Mula Hay, Baja, and when uh, when Lulu she thought that we were going to get home a day earlier than we were and and i reminded her you know darling you're you're trying to take a day out of our vacation no we're getting home not not thursday we're getting home on friday it, it was like i just told her her fucking mother had died uh you know being able to travel with a woman uh, when I really knew the uh, when I really knew the marriage had uh, had its last gasp was about uh, it was about three weeks before the famous ham sandwich incident. You know, we had moved to the bucolic little town of Sweet Home, Oregon, to save our marriage and. Uh, so we were going on a camping trip uh, before our dog had puppies. So we wanted to have one last, last camping trip. So I remember we were up there and uh, driving around through the Cascades of Oregon and my, uh, and what Lulu was doing for probably the hundredth time in her life. She was either reading the Chronicles of Narnia or the wind in the willows. Uh, she knew that whenever she wanted to push one of my buttons, all she had to do was pick up the Chronicles of Narnia or the wind in the willows and sit there reading a book and sighing, letting you know how bored, you know, as we're driving through this absolutely gorgeous uh, scenery. And so we were up there and I have never seen a pine marten in my entire life. And uh, it's the only one I'd ever seen. And there was actually, in broad daylight, there was a pine marten uh, on, uh, you, you know, off on, I mean, 
not a dead one, a live one, I'm walking around out there in broad daylight. And I said, wow, I said, isn't the coolest shit? I, I said, uh, check it out. Uh, there's a pine marten. And uh, she looks at me over the top of her book and she goes, who the fuck gives a shit about a pine marten? And it was at that moment that I realized the marriage was over. Of course, we uh, lingered on for about three more weeks till the famous Heil Hitler uh, ham sandwich experience when we brought that uh, seven-year debacle to a close. But uh, I, I, just the very thought of, uh, 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 of being trapped for uh, five minutes uh, in, 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 a, in a camper van uh, with, that, with that little psycho bitch that I saw in, in that video, uh, I, I don't care how hot she is. You, you, you know, uh, there, there's a certain point uh, you know, where you just have to let that go, and uh, it, it, as you guys notice, I am trying to choose my words very carefully. But anyway, guys, now right now I am going to put the. Uh, <clears throat> I do want to thank Gabby Petito for doing me one favor. Uh, just as the pine martin and the uh, the pine martin and the ham sandwich put the final nail in my relationship with my uh, the love of my life, my dear sweet ex-wife, I want to thank Gabby Petito for uh, putting the final nail in Dulcinea and, uh, and whatever, uh, whatever lingering scraps of hopium I have left with my, uh, you know, my two and a half love, two and a half year love affair with the mythical Dulcinea. Uh, watching that video was the final nail in the coffin. Uh, I have now officially given up all hope, and uh, and and I really am starting uh, to recover from the Dulcinea episode, uh, you, you know, I knew, and I know, Dulcinea, I, 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 you know, I, you know, I still love you, darling, and, and I will to the day I die, but, uh, uh, you, you know, I would love you, you're certainly welcome to weigh in on this, so, uh, you know, obviously, as you guys know, I am, uh, I am a fucking psycho, so I suffer from uh, bipolar disorder, I have been suspicious since I very first met Dulcinea that she was mildly uh, schizophrenic, that she was genuinely batshit crazy. I, I got kind of off that trail when somebody convinced me uh, last spring that Dulcinea uh, Hambone, she's not, uh, she's not schizophrenic. She uh, has borderline personality, uh, which in some ways is worse than schizophrenia. Well, anyway, so I spent a while. Uh, I, I, I don't know what you are, Dulcinea, okay? Uh, you are somewhere on the spectrum uh, between borderline personality and schizophrenia, and I wish you nothing but peace and love and joy uh, the rest of your life. Uh, and, and I know that uh, I will always love you, but after watching that, uh, that video of Gabby Petito, talking to those cops a, a couple of weeks before she was murdered uh, and looking at uh, that dude's face where where Gabby, I guess, what did she do? Did she smash him in the face with her cell phone, I believe, is how he got that big scratch across his face. Uh, you, you, you 
you know, I, I, I realize uh, that I am borderline schizophrenic for thinking that Dulcinea and I, th th this is actually, the, you know, I met up with Dulcinea, uh, when was it? about four weeks ago. When was the last time I saw you, girl? You know, we met up down there in Pennsylvania. We spent eight hours together, eight hours uh, sitting at a picnic table in the hot sun together uh, with me imploring her, uh, you know, to leave her husband and come move in with me at Bugs in a Jar Farm and be my Doomer Chick forever. We were actually discussing four weeks ago that I, I, I was I was actually suggesting to Dulcinea that I that either she was going to come up here or I was going to come essentially kidnap her. Uh, down in Pennsylvania in the uh, in my little trailer the Maggie May my little Maggie May trailer my 16-foot trailer and that what we were gonna do is we were going to do a Gabby Petito Brian laundry kind of thing we were gonna start a new YouTube channel where the shtick was gonna be every morning Dulcinea and I we're going to wake up, you know, in the Maggie May trailer, wherever we were, uh, and then we were going to pull out onto the road and decide whether we were going to take a left turn or a right turn out of wherever we were camping, whatever campground or hip camp. So each day we were going to start out having no clue, no clue where we were going to spend the night. We were going to hit the road. Hambone and Dulcinea were going to hit the road in our short, short trailer, you know, as a kind of a spoof on, uh, on Ricky and, uh, and, and Ricky and Lucy. Uh, the long, long trailer, if you, if you don't get the reference to the short, short trailer, and actually make a a kind of uh, sat satirical, uh, you know, one of these van life, trailer life, travel log, YouTube channels chronicling all of our misadventures and hiccups. And, and I actually believed four weeks ago that this was going to be fun. But uh, after, uh, after that video, Gabby... Uh, Uh, wherever you are listening to this rant, uh, I do want to thank Gabby Petito for giving me a little, uh, a little affirmation, as, as uh, Don Juan would call it, that if I, if, if Dulcinea and Hambon Littletail had actually uh, carried through on that uh, psychotic plan to uh, put our coop ourselves up together in a pickup truck and a 16-foot camper, it would have been the single biggest fuck up I had ever made in my entire life. I am not saying on any level that Dulcinea uh, would have disappeared uh, mysteriously. But there's a pretty good chance that Hambone Littletail uh, would have disappeared off the face of the planet. So, uh, Gabby Petito, I do appreciate it. And uh, anyway, I've said what I've said. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. And. Oh well, I can move on to something else with my life. And I'm going to make a prediction. Let's see, they are going to find Gabby Petito's body. In Idaho. 
they're going to find Gabby Petito's body in Idaho. Uh, obviously, this scumbag is going to be uh, convicted of her murder. First, of course, they have to find him because the fucking Keystone cops apparently have let him get away. They're going to find her body in Idaho. Uh, he is going to be convicted, as he needs to be, of her murder. He is not, it is not going to be a capital crime. He is not going to be executed for her murder. There will be within, within six weeks of them finding her body, there will be at least three books you can find on uh, Amazon within 12 weeks there will be a made for TV or made for Netflix movie about the Gabby Petito story uh, there are at least at right now at least 100,000 people scheming uh, how they can become rich on um, taking advantage of the Gabby Petito story. Uh, how am I going to turn this tragedy into my material gain? Uh, this dude Laundry's sister uh, is going to, she is going to make a pile of money. Uh, she's going to be one of the main people, you know, that you're going to see interviewed in these books and Netflix documentaries. Uh, you know, his, the, the fat, ugly sister uh, is, is going to be the main source of all of this dirt. Uh, and we have not heard the last of the Gabby Petito story. My guess is already on this planet that uh, 10,000, if not 1 million times as many people who do not know the name Derek Jensen, for instance, know who Gabby Petito is. But, uh, Gabby Petito, wherever you are, may your beautiful little psycho bitch body rest in peace. Shut up now. Bye, guys. All right. Go get your chippy. Go get your chippy. We're done talking about Gabby Petito.